Well, welcome everyone. Welcome back to our last um, session of our six, um, six series sessions on 25 by five, the symposium to reduce documentation burden on US clinicians by 75% by 2025. Um, so I would like to acknowledge as we have before our steering committee members, as well as my co-chair Trent Rosenblum um, for this symposium and our funding from the National Library of Medicine. Um, again, pointing, you know, as we have to our website, which houses all of our resources so far um, from, you know, the agendas, background, um, and funding info, relevant readings, access to um, how you can join the listserv, and all of the video presentations from each week. Um, so our principles of engagement, which we've gone over each week, but as a important reminder, um, we aim to leverage technology and existing data inputs where appropriate to reduce redocumentation. For example, um, reducing redocumentation of items already captured during other intake processes. Um, in our efforts and our actions that we're identifying for decreasing documentation burden, we wanna make sure we're not eroding care standards um, such as quality, safety, value, efficiency, and access. And we wanna maximize clarity of proposed rules to minimize misinterpretation and providers. And um, last but not least, um, it's very important that we do not want any wholesale shifting of work, any wholesale shifting of work from one clinician to another. We seek to eliminate unnecessary documentation altogether. Reminder for all attendees, please put your full name in Zoom. This is particularly important today because we have our breakout sessions. And so it really will help us assign you, um, put you in the correct breakout room. Please use chat functionality for discussion and questions. Please mute yourself. Um, please use gallery view. Um, and also a reminder to tweet in real time and between sessions, our hashtag is 25 by five. All ideas are worth contributing. Um, I think that's especially an important reminder as we have our second and final round of breakout sessions too. We are you know, working towards um, honing in on prioritized actions but we, we still certainly want all ideas to be shared. Um, and everybody's contributions and chats will be archived um, in the chat log and made available to the 25 by five community. So please pass that along. Um, great. And just a reminder of where we've been and where we are today. So here we are on our final um, plenary um, presentation on insights for action and we have break, um, breakout sessions. So we have Christine Sinsky. Um, we are thrilled to have her, her presenting today. This is just an overview of the agenda. We will then have 60 minutes for our breakout sessions. And the goal is to identify and prioritize short-term, medium-term, and long-term actions as we uh, begin to enter those sessions when we're at that point of the agenda, we'll have a bit more for specific directions. Um, and here are the high level topics for our breakout sessions. And then after, just as last week, we'll have a report out from our breakout sessions. As you probably remember, in order to maximize the time during our breakout sessions, we don't have that much time for the report out from our breakout session. Um, but, um, you know, so we hope that you understand that and kind of that trade off that that we've had, but we certainly will be sharing and working on this information and sharing it beyond this symposium. And so with that, I would like to welcome our plenary speaker for convergent actions for our 25 by five symposium, Christine Sinsky, um, who um, represents professional satisfaction from the American Medical Association. Dr. Sinsky is Vice President of Professional Satisfaction at the American Medical Association and a board certified internist. She practiced at Medical Associates Clinic in um, Dubuque, Iowa for 32 years. Dr. Sinsky has worked to improve opportunities for joy, purpose and meaning in work. Her publications on 
um, the quadruple aim, joy in practice, texting while doctoring, and creating a manageable cockpit for clinicians have contributed to the national conversation. And she has also contributed to research regarding the prevalence, drivers, and solutions to burnout among physicians. And we are so thrilled to have her with us um, to you know, share her leadership thoughts. Um, and, and we're so thankful and thrilled that she has been with us in all of our sessions to date and really is here um, you know, for our wrap up and, and as we're looking towards the future and continuing this movement. So with that, I'm going to pass it off to Christine. 